My brother Mark, <coughs> a sister remembers growing up with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by Christine King Ferris. You know who Christine King Ferris was? Yeah. Who was she? This was the author. The author in the okay, it was the author, you're right. But she was also Dr. King's sister. Okay? This was Dr. King's sister. Says, gather around and listen as I share childhood memories of my brother, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm his older sister. Excuse me. I'm his older sister. I've known him longer than anyone else. I knew him long before the speeches he gave and the marches he led and the prizes that he won. I even knew him before he first dream the dream that would change the world. Turn the page. Good job. This is Dr. King's family. Who is this? The baby. That's the baby, but that's the baby Dr. King. Okay. We were born in the same room, my brother Martin and I. I was a very early baby, born sooner than expected. Mother dear and daddy placed me in the, the what is that? Chip rope drawer that stood in the corner of the their upstairs bedroom. I got a crib a few days afterward. A year and a half later, Martin spent his first night in the hand-me-down crib in the very same room. The house we were born belonged to Mother Dear's parents our grandparents, the Reverend and Mrs. A.D. Williams. We lived there with them and our Aunt Ida, our grandmother's sister. Turn the page. Good job. And not long after my brother Martin, who we called M.L., because he and daddy had the same name, our baby brother was born. His name was Alfred Daniel, but we called him A.D. after our grandfather. They called me Christine, and like three peas in one pod, we grew together. Our days and rooms were filled with adventure, <coughs> stories, and tinker toys, with dolls, and Monopoly, and Chinese checkers. Who plays Chinese checkers? I do. You do? <laughs> hey. Next to when I come back, when I, when I come back, I'm going to play you guys in Chinese checkers, OK? All right? Somebody not telling me the truth, but that's OK. <laughs> All right. And although Daddy, who was an important minister, and Mother Dear, who was known far and wide as a musician, often had work that took them away from home, our grandmother was always there to take care of us. I remember days sitting at her feet, and she and Aunt Ida filled us with grand memories of their childhood and their and read to us about all the wonderful places in the world. Good job. And of course, my brothers and I had each other. We stuck together like pages in a brand new book. And being normal young children, we were almost always up to something. Are you guys always up to something? Yeah. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. I'm not. You're not? Okay. I'm not. <laughs> we'll come back and talk to you too. <laughs> you got laughs in me. Okay. Our best prank involved a fur piece that belonged to our grandma. It looked like it was almost alive. 
with his tiny feet and little head and gleaming glass eyes. So every once in a while, in the waning light of the evening, we tie that fur piece to a stick and hiding behind the hedge in front of the house, we would dangle it in front of unsuspecting passers-by. Boy, you could hear the screams of fright all across the neighborhood. See that? That's that little thing that they would scare people with. That's a fur piece down there. See the people? Scared them. There's one right there. There's one right there. Scared them. That's another one. See them? Look back. They're scared. Right? Okay, turn the page. That's those people. That's right. Scared them. Then there was the time Mother Deer decided that her children should all learn to play piano. I didn't mind too much, but ML and AD preferred being outside to being stuck inside with our piano teacher, Mr. Mann, who would wrap your knuckles with a ruler just for playing the wrong notes. Well, one morning, ML and AD decided to loosen the legs on the piano bench. That was not very good. Uh, so we wouldn't have to practice. We didn't tell Mr. Mann, and when he sat down, crash he went. See what they did? They loosened the chairs. He, and he just broke it. Uh, no, he didn't break it. They loosened it so he could fall. Mm -hmm. Made him fall. Scared him. Is that a good thing to do? No. Oh, good job. All right. But mostly we, would, mostly we were good, obedient children, and ML did learn to play a few songs on the piano. He even went off to sing with our mother a time or two. Given his love for singing and music, I'm sure he could have become as good a musician as our mother had his life not called him down a different path. But that's just what his life did. Wait a minute, not yet. Okay. My brothers and I grew up a long time ago. Back in the time when certain places in our country had unfair laws that said it was right to keep black people separate because our skin was darker. and our ancestors had been captured in a far off Africa and brought to America as slaves. Ready to turn? Atlanta, Georgia, the city in which we were growing up, had those laws. Because of those laws, my family rarely went to the picture shows or visited Grant Park with its famous Cyclorama. In fact, to this very day, I don't recall ever seeing my mother, my father, on a streetcar. Because of those laws and the indignity that went with them, Daddy preferred keeping ML, AD, and me close to home, where we'd be protected. We lived in a neighborhood in Atlanta that's now called Sweet Auburn. It was named for Auburn Avenue, the street that ran in front of our house. On our side of the street stood two-story frame houses similar to the ones we lived in. Across it cast a line of one-story row houses and a store owned by a white family. Ready to turn? When we, were young, when we were young, all the children along Auburn Avenue played together, even the two boys whose parents owned the store. And since our house was a favorite gathering place, those boys played with us in our backyard. See everybody playing in the yard? What's this right here? The bike. All right. The bike. 